Welcome to the full body massage uh, while doing the shin box. The shin box is a great mobility flow program uh, that actually, if you do the whole thing, targets the spine, the hips, and the whole lower body. and can be a great way to do warm up, but we're going to be using this as an opportunity to do some soft tissue work in the seated shin box position. I'm going to start by using this hypervolt percussion massage gun with the flat head on the feet and the ankles. Feet and the ankles get beat up every day by long hours of standing on them or doing a lot of running and other athletics, uh, but it's where the rubber meets the road and so they're very important. So it's a good opportunity to get into those feet, and especially around the parts of the feet that we don't spend a lot of time considering the lateral side of the foot and the heel, and up around the ankle. Take your time in that arch. If you have painful arches, you might have to lighten up your contact with the massage gun. But spend plenty of time now we're going to start getting up into the lower leg but really make sure you do spend that time to get around the ankle even though the soft tissue structures are quite shallow you might consider using a more penetrating head on the bottom of the foot, but I would start with the flat head only because it can be quite intense using the ball attachments or the more pointed attachments that allow you to get better penetration. So now we're going to shift over and we're going to start getting into the calves. The calves are everything from the posterior side to what would be considered shin muscles. Right now we're on the fibulari or peroneal muscles. These muscles help to control the foot. And so if you do a lot of driving, your foot is in that turned out position, pushing on the gas or the brake. And so these muscles can get quite tight. And if you're sitting at a desk, they can be a good source of pain, unfortunately, all the way from the knee into the foot. The thing I like about the shin box position is that it allows me to get, again, angles that I don't normally consider when I'm treating myself. It also allows me a good platform to get deep into muscles. On the inside of the ankle here, this is where a lot of muscles that help to flex and move the toes live and when they are tight and become fibrosed or get scar tissue they can cause quite a bit of pain in the foot. Again spend your time don't rush through this I'm only spending a couple of minutes in the lower leg and spend quite a bit more. Now I'm going to get up into the knee and around the knee this is where of course the quads and the IT band are coming together on the lateral side of the knee and so spending time on that is usually very beneficial to people who have knee pain especially runners And then again, this position in the shin box allows me to get a fairly stretched position on the quad, not maximally, but enough that it gives a unique environment to do massage using the percussion, machine, the percussion gun. And then on the externally rotated thigh, this is where we could spend time getting into the adductors and the hamstrings. 
oftentimes adductors get very tight, especially with people who have hypermobility around their pelvis or low back pain and are oftentimes mistaken as tight hamstrings when really they're tight adductors. So in this position, of course, that adductor is slightly relaxed comparatively to the other side. Getting up into the upper inner thigh, that's where hip rotators that internally rotate the hip are, and near the attachments of those adductors. Again, getting on the anterior and lateral side of the thigh. People who do a lot of standing and running get a lot of tightness in the iliotibial band or IT band tightness. And so this is a good opportunity to get into that. And again, into that adductors and internal rotators of the hip. Lateral hamstrings are easily accessed at this point as well. And then we're going to move over to the other side. And again, getting on the medial side of the knee, this is that VMO, or vastus medialis oblique head. that helps to control the knee and is oftentimes implicated in knee pain, especially for runners. spending time on those adductors. Those adductors can be extremely tender, so take your time, lighten up your contact with the massage gun if necessary. Now shifting over and up the leg into the hip. Here we can start to get on those muscles that contribute to hip pain around the lateral side of the thigh that oftentimes can be felt as though you have an intense ache around your hip and you might feel that you're developing a hip problem that might need something like a hip replacement. It can be quite intense but really what it is is it's intense tightness of the TFL or the tensor fascia lata and the glutes as they attach into the IT band. The great part about the shin box is that it really gives you an opportunity to stretch and move the muscles around the hip joints themselves, which are many of us are extremely tight because we sit way too much. This area on the lateral side of the hips and pelvis can be extremely painful, so be careful and lighten up your touch. Spend time especially around that trochanter and don't try to massage directly over the bony part of that hip and when you go down into that IT band watch for areas and trigger points that you can spend more time on. Spend your time while you're doing these drills and while you're doing this massage it can be extremely beneficial free up a lot of motion and generally just make you feel good and wake up your legs. Thanks for joining us.